All right, this is the um, physical hardware part of the update uh, from Digimax version 2.5 to 2.6, taking the cases off. Um, don't even stand in front of the camera when you're doing a video like I did because you can't see what you're doing otherwise. All right, S getting close to the board, ripping out, um, not ripping out, gently, gently co coaxing out the 2.5, putting in 2.6 and adjusting the squelch as per picture shown right now. And that's it. Okay, here we just got a demo of uh, Digimax Lite version 2.6, obviously paired up with the Razer Radio's PLL adapter board, R719106, replacing the MB8719 with the MC145106. Alright, first up, let's just go straight into uh, just the operations of the kit and setting up. One button press always takes you to home channel, currently set to 35. Two button press, as long as squelch is up high so you can see that little dot. You might just see it pop up there, off, on, off, on. When it is on, two button press will be scanned. And obviously that's just reflected on the counter. To scan the other way, you just turn clockwise or anti-clockwise for down or clockwise for up. To stop, one button press there or open squelch. Uh, I'll take it back to 35 for now. Uh, three button press will give you the split RXTX. So one, two, three. And we can choose how many channels we want it separated. So two, maybe this for, for this example. And we want the TX to be two channels below the RX channel. So 33 and obviously reflected on the frequency counter. So to take that, um, one, two, three, to take that off, we would simply go, again, select how many channel separation. So we'll just change it this time to three. And if we wanted it off, you choose off and then engage on that selection, but we're going to go three channels above. So 35, 38, there's your TX there. Cool. And now we're going to obviously just turn it off. So one, two, three, split. Well, whatever separation doesn't matter too much because we're going to choose off anyway. Off. And now 35, we'll stay on 35. Four button press. Uh, this is that cool feature we've been talking about with this update is the 5KC which my PLL adapter boards support or any PLL for that matter so UPD858, PLL 02A which is coming soon and um, obviously with my PLL adapter board any of the 2824 or 8719 radios will now support 5KC so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5KC and watch the frequency readout obviously so yeah there you go so when the dot is on, it's on the zero frequency. When the dot is off, it's on the fives. So yeah, it, it'll scroll through. So channel 20, let's go to channel one and slowly walk through just a couple on the way up. Um, so that's channel one, but with a zero. Uh, sorry, without the zero. Channel two, then the proper channel two. Uh, almost into channel three with the dot, obviously, without the dot. And on and on it goes. So now we can have full control. So say if someone says QSY to channel 57 or 27570, I should say, sorry. Um, so you would simply go to 57 with the dot and that's your 570. How cool is that? Um, and then as for setting up the kit, we'll just already pre-make sure the squelch is um, definitely on. And five button press. One, two, three, four, five and we're going to choose PLL so obviously MC145106 encode in this radio no matter what PLL is inserted it's always going to be 79 because it's the mathematics of the antenna frequency and I've filter stages squelch yes yeah, definitely high home encode we're going to leave it at 35 that can be changed later for whatever the owner or the user wants to do lock detect squelch up high and we're going to select on and let it scroll And see what it does. Okay, over 200 on the positive. Yeah, what do we got? 260 something. And let's see what it does in a negative direction. Uh, 40, 45, whatever it was. So let's scan for a bit. Saves me 
rotating the dial, uh, walking on our way down. Uh, there we go. All right, so 261, negative 44. Now the frequency display will obviously show you when there's a bit of a weak signal coming out of the BCO by now. Um, yeah, the thing is a little bit pushed at the edge. So let's just see where we've got a solid reading. There we go. So not too bad, really. Um, let's get 5kc stepping on anyway. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And... Well, let's just see where it really starts to lock in on a normal readout. Okay, there. So negative 31. Negative 32. Negative 32 with a dot. Just walk it this way down. Okay, alright, let's get there. Oh, there we go. Somewhere around there, it starts to suffer. So, uh, just to get it. The PLL is definitely struggling when it gets down that low. Yeah, so minus, minus 40. Also, and let's go in the uh, the opposite extreme. Now, in 5kc, obviously we're gobbling up twice the amount of channels, so we're not seeing that high number that we've seen before, like 260 something. We're going to see uh, 171 because anyway, we're not going to get into maths here, but you'd have to double whatever the encodes are here. Anyway, 28710. What's the highest number we get? 27, 28. Uh, 720 in 5kc mode. Now if we get out of 5kc mode, I'll just flick it over to the negative side. 1, 2, 3, 4 again to go into 10kc. So the highest channel we got is 2, or oh, that's not a very, I'd say it's not a very solid lock up that, that there. Let's just see what's going on. Okay, no, there we go. So channel 260, 61. Well, I'd say really the last frequency that gets a decent readout is channel 260, which is 29605. So there you go. Um, that's Digimax version 2.6, um, and coupled with the uh, RL PLL, ad uh, PLL adapter board video complete. So there you go. Go get your Digimax light kits and do up your radios and mod them out. All right. Cheers, Razor One. Oh, and I forgot to add, there's my RRCLK, the clock. This one's done up obviously with blue LEDs, but is available in um, any color LED that is available on eBay. So, there you go. Catch up.